This is the newest 2023 Harley Davidson CVO. It is changing the game in a very strange way, including one of the coolest things I've ever seen on any motorcycle ever. The CVO bikes started rolling out in 1999, but they were really rare and they're really hard to come by now. And CVO stands for Custom Vehicles Operations. And basically what it was, it was a stock bike with a really awesome paint scheme, more bells and whistles, like heated things, and then a bigger motor that made more power. So it was basically a hot rod. But this brings the new era of the CVO bikes, instead of it being just a nicer, fancy Cadillac with a bigger motor, this is a performance-oriented machine. And it starts with this. Anyone out there who's fast or races, they're all gonna tell you the same thing. If you wanna be fast, you start with the suspension. This is the first Harley Davidson bagger with inverted forks. And they're made by Showa. Showa makes amazing forks for all the big brands. And why shouldn't it be on a Harley Davidson? It also has fully adjustable rear suspension. And they actually set this up in a way that while you're riding, if you, if you can twist, if you're flexible enough, and if you're long enough, you can reach down and actually adjust it on the fly as you're going, which is honestly, that's, that's pretty awesome. 10 years ago, you had to do an air pump change of the suspension. Now I know this might sound counterintuitive, but the fastest way to be fast is to be able to stop good. And that's why the new CVO has dual caliber Brembos. But to be a real performance bagger, of course you need to back that up. And that's why Harley is introducing their brand new 121 Milwaukee 8. And it makes a whopping 139 foot-pounds of torque and 115 horsepower. And just to give you some, some context, the previous model, 117 CVO bikes, was pulling at around 93 horsepower. That's a 25 horsepower upgrade, and this entire bike weighs 30 pounds less than the non-CVO model. Now, another thing that Harley did with this motor is it's VVT, it's variable valve timing. Now, this is a technology that's been out for a long time in automobiles. It's not been out for a long time in motorcycles. Now, Harley has this in the RevMax engine, that's in the Pan America, and also the Sportster S, but this is the first time you're seeing it in the Milwaukee 8. So what this is gonna do, is it's gonna give you a nice clean idle, but also it's gonna give you the best possible fuel economy with the best possible performance when you want it. And of course, they send all that power through their six-speed gearbox, through the belt drive, and into a 180-55 18-inch tire. The tech on this bike is pretty awesome. It's got preset modes, it's got sport, road, and rain, and a couple fully customizable modes. It also has different options for how your gauges will look. Now to interrupt the tech section, I just remembered a, a pretty cool feature about this motorcycle. So they have something called hill hold control. And what you do is you're stopped, you pull the brake really hard, it'll vibrate, and then it locks up the back brake and hold you. Now at first I was like, that doesn't make any sense. I'm, a, I'm an experienced rider. I just bought a CVO, I bought their top of the line motorcycle. I'm confident on a hill. Then I was thinking about it and I was in a situation where we were parked at a hill facing this way. I didn't want to have to hold the bike up so I put that hill hold control on there and I just, I could sit there nice and comfortable. Also, something that's going to help you launch on a drag race, pull that in there. It's going to hold your rear brake, which kind of lets you squat down a little bit. And then, you, and then you launch. And now I think it's kind of cool. Now, of course, it is a CVO bike, so it does have a really awesome sound system. And they change the bags up a little bit. They kind of bloat out, and they're kind of a little more streamlined this way. But apparently, they actually hold more space inside. And of course, they have Rockford Fosgate speakers, which sound amazing. This is the coolest thing about this motorcycle. Check this out. And you're like, ah, oh, where do I put my phone? I got a place to put my phone. This is a dresser drawers. You can fit three pairs of socks, multiple phones in there, and you got a USB-C charger that does hook up to the Apple CarPlay. It, come on, 
that, that's gotta be one of the coolest things. Always love the CVO bikes, but I love the new direction that they're going into. And if you were to try to modify your bike with inverted forks and all these cool things, all these cool gadgets on this bike, on your bike, trust me, I, I did it on my Road King, it's cheaper to buy this. Remember guys, it's not what you're riding, but where are you going? We'll see you guys next time. Check out this other video right up here.